Question is from Junior Cadena. Would you guys consider cardio necessary? Okay, so in an ideal situation, somebody's exercise and activity level, uh, you know, activity protocol would consist of some form of resistance training. I would consider that the cornerstone. It would consist of some form of cardiovascular training just to improve stamina, work on endurance. It's also you know, a more oxidative form of exercise, which can, can have some benefits for the heart and the lungs, and some form of mobility or flexibility type training. That's ideal. Do I consider cardio necessary? None of it's necessary, I guess. I think, especially if you're lifting weights and you're doing it right, um, you can lift weights in a way that'll give you plenty of cardiovascular benefit. You're it's, not going to get great cardio from it. It's the least important of the three you just named. Yeah, it is. It's the least important because I can give you a lot of the cardiovascular benefits that you're talking about by lifting weights faster. Totally. Right? So I, you can get, I can give somebody, you know, you do some supersets, do a, a phase three of MAPS aesthetic, and anybody who's ran that knows what that feels like cardio while you're lifting weights. Mm -hmm. So Do 20 reps of squats. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> that, I mean, and that would that in itself would be giving you similar benefits as getting on a treadmill and, you know, cranking away for 30, 45 minutes. So I would I would argue that of, the, of those three, and I agree with you that uh, in a perfect world, we- You're we, doing a little of all of them. We're doing a little bit of all of them is, is ideal. But if there's one that is less important, it would be cardio because for the majority, I think that uh, mobility and strength training is going to give you the overall benefits. And those two can have can have carryover into cardio. Cardio will not have carryover into strength training and yeah. also mobility. You're not going to get that. And you're going to adapt the fastest to it as well, like to yeah. where like two to three weeks. Yeah. So it's it, at the end of the day, like yeah, that's something I'm always like like consciously considering. Like, wow, well, I feel a little bit winded, or I feel a little bit like. I didn't have the type of uh, endurance uh, through that workout session and maybe I should focus in, but it's really like it's a small window to where I work on that for a while. You know, my endurance increases and then now I'm right back in business, but the true benefits have been from lifting weights and from, you know, adding mobility and making sure like those are going to give me the most long-term, uh, you know, results. Yeah. And, and here's the other thing too, you want to also uh, consider, you know, what are, what are your goals, right? If your goal is to really build lots of endurance, lots of stamina. If you're an athlete that competes in that kind and, and you require that kind of performance, then cardio is a the best tool for that. It just is. I mean, I can definitely build stamina and endurance with weights, but weights are a better tool for building muscle and for mobility. You'll get endurance and stamina from it as well, but it's great for strength, muscle building, mobility. Cardio is phenomenal to build endurance. If you really want a lot of endurance, um, then cardio is necessary. You know, if you're, if you're a runner, hmm. you're going to have to run. You're going to have to do some cardio, uh, to get really, really good at running. Um, if you want it for, for, if you're looking for long-term health, if you're looking for longevity, um, then you don't want to do anything too extreme. You don't want to bodybuild either. Same thing with cardio. You don't want to train like a marathon runner. Right. You want to do a little bit of everything. That's going to give you but the best. Like your average person, for instance, I mean, like you're walking throughout the day, but like when are you ever even jogging right. anymore? Like you just aren't. And, and to be able to build strength and, and uh, you know, build up your metabolism to where, you know, you can sit, but you could still, you know, burn calories. Like that's ideal. Yeah. If you look at the, the longest living people on earth uh, in, in the world's blue zones and you look at their activity levels, what they engage in on a regular basis, a daily basis, is moderate uh, intensity levels of, ex of exercise. They hike, they walk, they swim, they fish, uh, you know, they hunt. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're not beating the crap out of themselves trying to become the best athlete in the world or build the most amount of muscle or, or get, generate the most, uh, you know, get the most amount of endurance. So it all depends on your goals. Um, but if you're just looking for longevity, and you want to live a long, you know, you just want to have a healthy, long life. Cardio is not necessary. You, you could do it all with resistance training. You can get all the stamina you'll need. Your heart will uh, get much healthier from, you know, higher rep resistance training or supersets or a faster pace uh, of resistance training. You'll get the strength and mobility from the full range of motion that you do. There's your longevity right there. Um, and they can all be uh, definitely overdone. So it, it all 100% depends on your goals.